following is a video on how to set up your black jumping spider. Your parts list is as follows. Front foot labeled A, back foot labeled B, side feet labeled C, two each, module with attached spider and fabric, and foot removal key. You will also need four AA batteries and a Phillips head screwdriver if you are not using the non-included adapter. First, attach the front foot labeled A to the corresponding slot on the module also labeled A. Push until it clicks into place. Make sure that the foot is flush with the base by running your finger along the connection point. Next, take the back foot labeled B and matching B to B, attach the foot to the corresponding slot on the module. Press until it clicks into place. Next, take the side feet labeled C and connect them to the corresponding slots on the module, module matching C to C. Make sure you attach both side feet to the module. Push until they click into place. To remove a foot, Press the foot removal key into the slots on the foot you want to remove. Press until you, it clicks and you pull it out. Once all the feet are attached, grab the spider and gently pull it up to its rise position. Next, locate the two springs near the base of the pole. Take the spring and push it back and connect it to the corresponding pin. There is one on both sides, so make sure that you press each spring back onto the corresponding pin. As stated before, make sure that the other spring also connects to the corresponding pin. If you are not using an adapter which is not included with the product, at this time, unscrew the battery compartment. You'll need to make sure the screw is fully unscrewed before lifting up on the cover. Now, insert four AA batteries into the battery compartment. Ensure that the spider switch is in the off position before inserting the batteries. Now, reattach the battery cover. Do not turn the spider on until your setup is complete. If this is your first time assembling the jumping spider, you will notice a zip tie holding the fabric to the spider body. Release this zip tie and pull down the fabric. You will notice Velcro strips located on four sections of the fabric. Take these Velcro strips and connect them to the corresponding strips on the spider base. The Velcro strips are located under the feet. Simply attach the Velcro. Repeat this step for the back foot, two side feet, and the front foot, making sure that all Velcro, ta all Velcro strips are secure. Now, adjust the spider's legs as desired. Simply do this by pulling on the legs. Gently, of course. There is a wire inside each of the legs that will let you pose it as desired. It is also a good idea at this time to pose, to adjust the fabric and spider web for a more realistic appearance. If you are using the optional sandbag, which generally is not included with any jumping spider, at this time, you want to take the sandbag and place it under the foot, on the front foot, like so. The sandbag is over top of the front foot. If you are using the optional 6 volt 2 amp DC adapter, which is not included with the product, at this time you will want to remove any batteries from the battery compartment and insert the adapter into the adapter slot. Do not plug in the adapter just yet. If you are using the optional foot pad, which is sold separately from the product, 
you will want to insert the foot pad plug into the foot pad jack at this time. Do so carefully as to prevent damage to the foot pad plug. The black jumping spider can be activated in two ways. If you are using the optional foot pad for the jumping spider, turn the switch to the foot pad position. If you are operating the spider in sound activation, turn the switch to the on position. Remember to leave the switch in the off position when not in use. Attach any of the remaining Velcro to the Velcro strips on the feet and turn the switch to the desired position. Once the switch is turned on, the item should lower to its pre-jump position as shown. If it does not lower, make sure the legs are not obstructing the spider from reaching its pre-jump position and make sure there are no obstructions for the poles in the back. Congratulations, your setup is now complete. Feel free to contact me with any questions in the comments or, any or for any troubleshooting tips also in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.